As you guys know, I love to grill and there is one grill that I use more than any other ones. That will be the SNS Kettle. Now there's a good reason why I chose this grill for 90% of my cooks. It does some things extremely well, others not so much. And today we're going to be talking about every single one of them, as this is my review of the SNS Kettle. So here we go. So initially, when I started to cook outdoors, my go-to was always the Weber Kettle. I had the Weber Performer. I even did a full review on it, and let me tell you something, I really, really like that grill. It served its purposes, and I did a lot of cooks on it. And it is still one of Weber's most sold grill. The fact that it has a little side cart is just perfect. At the same time, it is very light and not heavy to move around, and most importantly, it gets the job done. But there's a few things that the Weber Kettle lacks. That's where the SNS comes in. First of all, the Weber Kettle grate does not spin around. The slow and sear kettle in the other way does spin. And that's one of my favorite features to use, and I'll tell you why. 90% of the time when you're cooking, you need a hot zone and a cool zone. Especially if you're cooking steaks, a lot of times you're gonna have a good amount of flare-ups. And the fact that you're able to just spin it without any issue is just money. It makes the jobs a lot easier. And spinning it with an SNS grill is just a breeze because nothing is holding you back. Especially if you're cooking on multiple kettles at the same time like I did on Matt Stoney's video, where I broke three world records cooking Wagyu. Now another problem I have with the Weber kettle is that when you're cooking low and slow, it's not that great. And here's the reasons why. The thermometer is placed on the wrong side of the cover, but not with the SNS kettle. It allows you to get an accurate temperature and here's why. You want the thermometer to be on the same side as the vent. Think about it. If your thermometer is over the coals, you're not going to get an accurate reading. And when you're cooking it low and slow, the meat has to be on the opposite side of the fire. And that's where the thermometer should be placed. So only for that reason alone, it's already better. But there's more. Now the SNS stands for slow and sear. And before they even made it a grill, they were known for the slow and sear attachment that comes inside of the Weber kettle. Now if you have a Weber kettle, you can still get it and put it in and it works like a charm. And it allows you to do low and slow cooking with ease. But if you got the slow and sear kettle, it comes with it already. So it's a win-win. And if you're thinking that you can do the same exact feature of the slow and sear with a Weber kettle using some bricks, yes, you might be able to, but it's just so inconvenient. And staying on the low and slow theme, the SNS kettle has something that Weber does not have. It's called a smoke hole. It allows you to die in temperature exactly the amount you want. And trust me, cooking low and slow is all about the temperature. If not, you can just grab a brisket, put it in the microwave, and some Sometimes, believe it or not, it turns out okay. Now what about portability? Because if it's portable and easy to transport, you're gonna be using it more often. This grill is really easy to move. Not only does it have four legs, the wheels are actually nice. The Weber Kettle, on the other hand, only has three. This grill also has a little side table, which is actually quite strong. I use it in every single one of my cooks. Now when it comes to cleaning, this also has an upgraded version from the Weber. Check out the blades. But hey, my nephew Angel can tell you a lot more about cleaning than me, as he helps me out quite a bit. To clean it's pretty chill. All I do is get the scraper, scrape it up, get both sides, and then I wipe it up with a, a paper towel and that's it. For the ashtray, it's pretty simple. You shake the, the star, I guess I would call it, the little star. You shake it up so that all the ash falls into ashtray. Ashtray is so simple. You just pick it up, turn it, take it out, dump it, put it right back, drink, you're done. Now, even though it sounds that this grill is perfect, trust me, it has its flaws. And I think my number one issue with it is actually the size. I just wish it was bigger so that I don't have to use any other grill. Cooking three to four steaks with it at the same time is perfect. It does the job really, really well. If you're gonna cook a brisket, you gotta make sure that that brisket fits. The amount of room is very limited. SNS grills, if you're listening to this, you should make a bigger version. Now let's break into the specs of this kettle. The total height is 41 and a half inches. The height without the lid is 31 inches, which if you're 5'10 like me, it's just the perfect height. The cooking grate is 22 inches and it is perfect for a family of three, four, or up to five. Every time you get a new grill, the first thing you need to do is to assemble it. And this one, it's not that bad, but hey, you cannot take my word for it. My nephew Angel has built more SNS kettles than anyone I know. To build, it's pretty easy, to be honest. Everything's kind of chill. Maybe the legs might be a little annoying when you put the, the, the rack, if you put the rack the wrong way and all that. The most annoying part of the build is that little bottom rack, and then the little thing to make the ashtray uh, wheel turn and stuff. Other than that, it's pretty simple. Just screw it in. It's little airflow valves. The thing to hold 
the lid. To be honest, it probably take me like 20 minutes. Now I know the number one question is how much does it cost? It is more expensive for a Weber kettle because it has more features and other things. Well, you guys already know. But as of today, the basic model of this grill is $335. But I highly recommend you checking out the link to see the most accurate pricing for it. Now you're gonna ask me, Google, do you recommend this grill? I'll tell you one thing. There's a reason I use it in every single video. So that concludes my full review of the SNS kettle. Let me know which grill you would like to see reviewed next. Put it on the comments down below, we're gonna make it happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.